Hello everyone, I'm Chico. And I'm Furface. We are here in Yellowstone National Park visiting for the summer. We had to plan for it well in advance. Right, Chico? That's right. We wanted to learn all the basic information so we would be prepared. And one of the things was taking the Yellowstone Pledge, but we'll get more into that later. We just wanted to go over a few quick facts about the park. For instance, did you know how the Yellowstone got its name? Well, what we found out is back in the 1800s, French Canadian trappers asked the tribe what the name of the river was, and it's translated to the Rock Yellow River. The trappers then translated that into French as an explorer on that time used the English translation Yellowstone you see is in two separate words. It wasn't until later until it was formalized as one word, Yellowstone. What did you learn for a face? Well, I found out Yellowstone National Park was established back in 1872 and it became the nation's first national park. Theodore Roosevelt had a big influence in 1906 and he helped sign the Antiquities Act. It authorized presidents to proclaim or protect historic landmarks. Then in 1916, the National Park Service was created from an act signed by President Woodrow Wilson. After researching the history, we wanted to find out places we could go while we are here. And at the top of our list was Old Faithful. Chico, because it's the most famous attraction in any other stone. From what I learned is that the average interval between the eruptions is about an hour and a half. And eruptions last up to five minutes, spilling about 8,000 gallons of boiling hot water. and reach heights up to 184 feet. Very good for a face. And our next top spot is Mammoth Hot Springs which features are quite different than anywhere else in the park. Early on, it was an attraction for people seeking relief from ailments in the mineral waters. Be on the lookout for the ever-present elk grazing on the green lawns of the Mammoth Village. And our next top spot is Hayden Valley because of all the great wildlife. It's an excellent place to see grizzly bears in the summer, and herds of bison and elk, coyotes and a variety of birds. Just remember to keep a safe distance and be on the lookout for a bison walking down the street. And you see here they're walking down during the winter. And something else we thought was interesting is that recreational visitors back in 1904 was a little over 13,000 but then last year it was well over 4 million. So recently, the park has been encouraging people to take the Yellowstone Pledge. The pledge is a personal promise, so you don't have to worry about saying it out loud or in front of anyone. Now call me nuts. You're nuts. What? That's what you said to call you. Ah, anyway. I think it would be helpful if Furface and I said it out loud, just as a visual example of how important the message is. So we'll say the first line together, and then we'll alternate down the list. Okay, let's start. To be, be a, steward a steward and, and help, help protect, protect myself, myself in the, in the park, park, I, I pledge, pledge to practice safe selfies by never approaching animals to take a picture. Stay on boardwalks and thermal areas. Protect hot springs by not throwing anything into them. Park in designated areas and avoid blocking traffic. Stay with my car if I'm stuck in a wildlife jam. Follow speed limits and pull over to let cars pass. Try 
travel safely in bear country by carrying bear spray, making noise, and hiking in groups. Keep my food away from animals. Recycle what I can and put my garbage in bear proof containers. Report resource violations by calling 911 or talking to a ranger. Take the pledge like we did and tell someone so you can help protect the park. Show your support by using hashtag Yellowstone Pledge. We've seen a lot of people do this by tagging their photos of group selfies and with no animals in it. Okay, now that we're prepared, let's go see the sights. Well, let's see by my calculations, Old Faithful should be erupting in a minute. 